This example shows Preapta configured to schedule orders in a plastic moulding company. The key resources modelled include moulding machines, moulds and setters. It can be run in P300FCS or APS versions. Products are made in two operation steps, moulding and trim, and pack. The key features that are shown include multiple sequence dependent setup matrices, in this example mould change and colour change, separate sequence dependent changeover time matrix for polymer change, automatic and interactive runtime recalculation based on the number of cavities in a mould, transfer batching. For the APS version it will also show automatic schedule repair when the number of cavities in a mould is changed as well as minimising changeover times using an APS rule. Firstly, we will review the data in the data tables. In the resources data table we have four resources. There are three moulding machines and packing. Each of the moulding machines is defined as being finite capacity. The secondary constraints defined include a setter required during setup or changeover times. There are three sequence dependent changeover matrices. One is for the tool to tool setup time, one for the colour to colour setup time, and the third the time required for changing from one polymer to another. The tool setup times show a matrix defining the time taken to change from one tool type to another. The colour setup times show a matrix to define the time taken to change from one colour of the same polymer to another. The polymer changeover matrix defines the time taken to change from one polymer type to another. Note also that there are a number of checkboxes which are used to set how Preapta should calculate the overall setup or changeover time. If the concurrent setups box was checked, then the total setup time would be the longest value of tool or colour setup time. In this case, it is unchecked, so these two will be added together. In this case, the concurrent setups with changeovers box is checked. This means that the longest value of setup or changeover time is used. If unchecked, then the polymer changeover time would be added to the setup time. There is also a field for initial setup time. This is used for the first order to be loaded on the machine. The packing resource is defined as infinite with shift patterns. This means that multiple orders can be packed at the same time without defining individual packers within a department. We have created three groups of machines. All machines allows a product to be processed on any machine in the plant. Fast Machines in this example covers just Machine 1. Slow Machines in this example included Machines 2 and 3. The secondary constraints include setters, two available and four moulds. In the example there are five products and two of them share the same mould. Note that each mould has a number of cavities. This is the number of items produced in each moulding cycle. The attributes used by Preapta are in the attribute tables. Product attribute 1 is used to define the polymer colour. Product attribute 2 is used to define the base polymer material. The setup groups attribute is used in this example to define the tool type. We have defined five products in the example. Each has a two-stage process of mould and trim and pack. 
drill down for more detail. In the product display menu, you can define the colours on the bar. Note that we have used the low left bar colour to display the colour of the polymer and the low right we have assigned to show the polymer type. The product attributes have been assigned also. For this product we have defined that any machine can process this part. Also we have defined which mould is required for this product. In the setup times we have set the tool type and process time as time per item. This will be used by Preapta as the mould machine cycle. Under operation attributes we have defined a transfer batching method and transfer quantity of 100. This will allow packing to start after 100 parts have been moulded. First import the orders. Now generate the schedule. The machines are working from 8am to midnight, but the packing department work 8am till 5pm. There are 10 orders to schedule, each have the same priority, so they are sequenced in schedule file order. Forward schedule by priority. See how there are overlaps between moulding and packing because we have allowed transfer batching between these process steps. See the long changeover time between A001 and A003. This is because of a polymer change, indicated by the lower right half of the bar having different colours but much shorter change over time between A002 and A007 because they have the same polymer material and colour. Also note that A006 is sequenced before A005, this is due to a mould constraint. A004 and A008 use the same tool. As A006 was inserted between A003 and A005, after A005 was scheduled, this added an extra changeover time to A005. Reviewing the plots of machine usage, the yellow line shows the level of setup time. You can use the mouse with the left button to drag across the plot. The level of usage per day and setup time is displayed here. You can also see the data in weekly periods using the hotspots grid. The data displayed is for each resource for each week. In Preactor APS, you can use the Minimize Overall Setup Time rule to improve the sequence. Now colour and polymer sequencing has been improved to minimise setup time.
You can also interactively change the number of cavities in a mould. When the number of cavities is changed, then the new runtime will be automatically recalculated. In Preactor APS, the schedule will automatically be repaired, gaps removed and all dependent operations moved, to take account of the new process rate. In other versions of Preactor, you can select the Repair Schedule button. This example showed just a few features of Preactor used in a plastic moulding plant. There are many other examples of Preactor and other types of application. This illustrates the flexibility of Preactor to match your specific requirements.